Good morning, everyone. Uh, Donald Keene, as you all know, is a renowned uh, scholar of Japanese literature. And uh, he passed away yesterday at the age of 96. Uh, it is a very sad moment uh, for those who have read his works, uh, and for those who have read his translations, and those who are working in the field of Japanese studies. However, I would like to start today uh, on a positive note uh, by uh, remembering a few words of his uh, that he gave about his love for the Japanese language uh, in a recent uh, interview. Uh, so I'll read out his lines. He says, and I quote, I started learning Japanese because the feeling of discovery was so great. The sooner you begin learning languages, the better. Welcome everyone. It's wonderful to see you all here. Uh, my name is Arun Shyam and it is a great privilege uh, to coordinate this two-day international conference, Japanese Language Education in South Asia 2018-19. Uh, uh, before I begin, uh, please help me thank our distinguished guests the chief guest for the event, Consul General of Japan in Chennai, Mr. Kojiro Uchiyama. <laughs> the President of the Function and our Honorable Vice Chancellor, Professor Suresh Kumar. <laughs> our guest of honor and the Director of Japan Foundation, New Delhi, Mr. Miyamoto Kaoru. Uh, Dean, School of Arab and Asian Studies, Professor Muzaffar Alam. And my colleague, uh, coordinator in charge, Department of Asian Languages, uh, Nisim Bedekar. Now, I would like all of you to help me thank another set of people, the distinguished authors, panelists, participants, and the attendees for today. Please give them a round of hands. What a great way to start this week. Uh, I see a lot of familiar faces in the audience. Some of, be, some of them have been my teachers, uh, some my students who have become teachers. Uh, but what is more exciting and gratifying is to have met authors and participants for the first time here in Hyderabad. We have all gathered here uh, to discuss about something that we care deeply about. And this might lead to disagreements, some ruffle feathers here and there. But I believe that it is through these discourses, uh, these deliberations and constructive criticism that we may be able to uh, learn how to teach better, how to learn better, share our experiences, and uh, go back with a lot of learning. Uh, please allow me to recall the national seminar that the department organized last March in 2018 uh, because of the support uh, that the Honorable Vice Chancellor gave us. Uh, it is the accomplishment of the panelists, speakers during the, of, the, of that national seminar that we are here a year later uh, organizing this two-day international conference. Uh, we will begin the academic session after this inauguration ceremony. Uh, with a keynote address by uh, the Japanese language advisor, Japan Foundation New Delhi, uh, Mr. Konishi Hiroaki. Uh, he will outline the issues, uh, challenges, and the status of Japanese language education in South Asia. Uh, this will be followed uh, by a lect the special lecture by uh, Professor Najima Yoshinao, uh, from the University of Duke's Okinawa, Japan. 
I believe that his lecture will help us look at Japanese language education in a very different light. This conference is also attended by speakers, panelists from different parts of India, from Japan and other South Asian uh, countries. The Honorable Vice Chancellor, uh, during his address uh, in, during the seminar last year, had mentioned that uh, we should look for answers, sometimes outside the four walls of the university, and look for practical solutions as well. Uh, sir, uh, we have incorporated your advice, and uh, we have, uh, during these two days, we have uh, paper presentations by academicians, and these will be interspersed by uh, panel discussions with in panelists invited from the industry. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the organizing committee, which consists of my colleagues, the office staff, and all the smile, my dear students. Uh, I warmly welcome you again and hope that this two-day international seminar will provide opportunities for us to share experiences, exchange knowledge, and build networks that are as invigorating and uh, stimulating, if I may, as a bowl of spicy Hyderabadi biryani. Thank you.